Hey guys, welcome to Rudra Tech Tutorial. And in this chapter 21 of Angular 8 Unit Testing with Jasmine and Kerma, we are going to look at routing. Objective of this video is to understand why and how to use the router testing module and learn to write the unit test cases for routing. Now, before we move ahead with our unit testing, here is a simple example that I have prepared. And in this example, I have prepared five routes. First one is the introduction then is the pipe testing directive testing and product list now in product list i have given a list of products and if i click on any of these products it will take me to the product detail page which will be having a parameter that will help us to get the details of the product and it also has a button back button if i click on this it will take me back to the product list page so we are going to use this scenario to right unit test case for routing now let's go and see the configuration made for the routes so here you can see i have added the routes variable which will have configuration for the routes that we have seen on the ui now in this case we have introduction directive testing pipe testing product list and product detail with their respective component also notice that i have added a parameter to the product detail which will help us to get the details of our product and this parameter is passed from this product list that i will demonstrate in our coming unit test case also i have added a default path that means whenever the application is opened for the first time it should navigate to a default path and this default path is configured here now let's go and see our first unit test case now here is a file that i have created for unit testing the routes and in this case i have imported a lot of functionalities of angular and out of them i have included most important one is router testing module now this module helps us to set up the routes for our testing and it replaces the router module in our unit test cases this is going to be the most important part of our unit test case then i have also included router router link with href activated route and convert to param map so all these things that i have imported in this file we are going to use it in our unit test case then coming to the next here i have included a lot of component and their services as these are part of our routes then coming to our test suit i have declared variables for router app component then for component fixture debug element then for location now this location object will help us to interact with the browser's url and it will help me to get the normalized urls from the navigated url then i have created a product service which will be used for demonstrating the product detail component then in the testbed configuration i have included forms module and router testing module then notice that the router testing module is included with routes method which will help us to incorporate the routes that we have declared in the app routing module into our testing then the declaration part will include the components and the directives that are part of our routing then the providers will contain the services now coming to the next before each here i have created the objects for router and location also created objects for fixture debug element and product service then in this case here you can see i have executed a method of router that is initial navigation so this method will set up the initial navigation for our routing and also perform the initial navigation that is it will help to navigate to the default route then in our first unit test case i have executed fixture.detect changes now the fixture.detect changes will force the browser to go to the default route now if you notice i have included our unit test case in a async test zone why because entire routing operation is a asynchronous operation hence we have to include it in a async test zone then i'm going to execute fixture.whenstable.den dot then once the asynchronous operation is completed it is going to check or expect location dot path to be introduction now since when the first time the url is 
entered in the browser it will navigate to the the default route and the default route is introduction so our path that is the location dot path will be the introduction and hence this test case will pass then coming to our next unit test case now in the first unit test case we have navigated to our default route now in the second unit test case we are going to navigate from default route to a another route now in this case i have included our unit test case in a fake async zone and first step that i have executed is fixture dot detect changes now in this case as well it will navigate to the default route then i have taken the list of links using query all by directive and when i'm saying directive it going to include router link with href that means whatever the links that are present within our code with the router link as the directive those will be selected and since this is a array the zeroth link will be the introduction that is the default link then the first link will be the pipe testing so i'm going to click links of one dot native element dot click and this will help us to navigate from the default path to the next path now in this case this path will be pipe testing i have executed the tick method now the tick method will help us to stimulate the passage of time and since our routing operation is a asynchronous one it will also help us to execute our expectation after the routing operations are completed and in this case we are going to expect location dot path that is the look url in the browser to be pipe testing and this test case will pass as well now let's see the output on the browser so i'm going to save this one now here you can see both the test cases first one should test a redirection to default path using async and the second one should navigate to the path when clicked on a link have been executed successfully now you must have noticed that in one test case i have used async and in another test case i have used fake async so these are used to demonstrate to you that we can either use any of the async zones that are provided to us using async or a fake async then in the third unit test case we are going to test the flow of navigation from product list to the product detail component now let's see the example before that now in this case we have a product list and in the product list i'm going to click on any of the products like this one and it will take me to the product detail and, and if you notice in the product detail it is going to navigate with a parameter that is the title of the product and this title will help us to get the detail of the product then let's see the code for the product list and product detail component now in the product list component we have list of products shown on the ui now whenever the user clicks on that one of the links it will come to this particular method go to product detail and in this one i have used router to navigate to product detail and pass the product title with this route then in the product detail component i have injected router and activated route for getting the parameter passed from the product list now in this case i have used activated route dot param map dot subscribe and this will help me to get the parameter that is passed from the product list and then i'm going to use this parameter and will pass it to the product service dot filter product list now this filter product list method will get me the exact product for which the title info information is passed to it now let's go and see the third unit test case so i have added the third unit test case and as soon as i have added the third unit test case it will give me an error and this is the error that is thrown cannot read property to lower case of null now this error comes because we have not included the activated route in our providers of test bed now i'm going to include that one and as soon as i include the activated route in our providers of the test bed it will give another error why because the 
activated route has a lot of dependencies and those dependencies are not included when we are executing our routes in a test zone and hence it gives a error like this failed can't resolve all the parameters for activated route now in order to resolve this error i am going to mock the activated route now so instead of using the actual activated route object we need to use a mocked object of activated route now here i have included the activated route and used value param map of that is the rxjs of operator and in this case i have used convert to param map and here i have passed the title information along with the title of a product now this will be helping us to mock the data and pass the dummy information to the activated route present in the product detail component then coming to our unit test case now in this case again we are going to execute the basic flow that is from the introduction to the product list and from product list to the product detail page now in this case first thing that i have executed is fixture dot detect changes that is the basic path or the default route we will be navigating to then executed the tick now here i have purposefully used to demonstrate how to use the router within our unit test case so router dot navigate and in this case we will be navigating to the product list then the tick method to simulate the passage of time then we are going to expect location dot path to be the product list that means we have navigated to the product list page then again here we are going to execute the fixture dot detect changes now this is executed at this point to load the list of products on the product list page then here i have taken out the list of li elements that will be containing the product information that is the product title and its price then here i am going to click on the li element so li element of 2 dot native element dot click now once we click the product list component has a method that will help us to navigate to the product detail page with a parameter then again executed the tick method and in the expect we are going to check location dot path to contain product detail then again fixture dot detect changes now in this step i have created the objects for the product detail component that is the fixture for the de product detail component and or the instance of the product detail component then i have executed detail fixture dot detect changes now this is executed to load the detail of the product for which the parameter is passed from the product list and here i have executed tick then in the next step we are going to expect that the detail component that is the detail component which contains the product object for the product details dot title to be the given title that we had passed using the activated route so now here we have mocked the activated routes hence here whatever the title that we are adding here will be passed to the product detail and since that title is passed the product service is going to return us the details of the product which contains this title so in this case we have unit tested the complete flow of our router navigation from product list to the product detail component but here we have complete executed a kind of a end to end test what if i want to unit test only the product detail component and then let's go and write a unit test case for individually testing the product detail component now here is the code that i have created for unit testing the product detail component now in this case i have created objects for component and fixture then i have also created a spy object for the router which will be created using the jasmine dot create spy object and it will be spying on the navigate method then in the test bed configuration modules i have declared the product detail component and in the providers product service is included and here i have mocked the activated route using the use value and for the param maps then here i have created a provider for router 
Now notice that I have not included the router testing module. And since the router testing module gives us access to the router object, in this case, since I have not included it, I have to mock it. And hence, I have created this pi object and included this in our providers. So provide router and use value router spy. Now then coming to the unit test case. Now here I'm going to simply execute fixture.detect changes. This will execute the ng on init lifecycle hook and in that lifecycle hook it will execute the activated route subscribe method and also get the product detail information from the service that is the product service. And here I'm again going to check that component dot product title to be the given title. In this example, I have demonstrated that we can individually unit test case a component with the routed parameters. Now let's go and execute this unit test case. Now here you can see the product detail components should test route parameters using activated routes and in this case individually only the component is tested and this unit test case is executed successfully. So this is how you can unit test the routing and I hope you have liked this video and understood it. Do provide us comments, do subscribe and thank you.